Now we're going to move on to testing the generator itself. If you've missed part one, uh, discussing voltage regulator, troubleshooting, testing, and replacement, make sure to check this out, or check that out. <laughs> check this out if you have already checked out your voltage regulator and are now moving on to other things because you're still not charging. So here we are at the back of the car. What we're going to do is a couple different things to check the condition of the generator. First, you can start the vehicle with this plastic cover removed on the top of the generator. Carefully, very carefully, with the vehicle running and your voltmeter attached to the battery, plus and minus, you're going to apply a little bit of pressure on this top brush just to help improve the contact of that brush. If your voltage jumps up to normal, which is about 14, 14 and a half volts, then you know that your brushes are worn and you can either replace the brushes or replace the generator. Replacing the brushes, much easier, so you might as well do that. In my case, it made no difference. I am going to double check this lower brush right here. So I'm going to start the car, apply a little bit of pressure to that brush, and I'll show you that test here. So I've got the probes of my tester attached to positive and negative battery over here. And I'm going to need two hands to do this, but I'm going to very carefully reach in and just press right up here on this brush as well as the lower brush. So I'm kind of going to push in on those while watching the voltage. I'll leave the camera on the meter here. So we know that it's not a brush problem. Now that we know it's not our brushes, the next thing we're going to move on to is testing the generator itself. And for that test, we're going to disconnect both wires, both the D plus and the DF. So I'll take my 5 16 wrench and go ahead and remove those. When taking these off, I like to kind of tuck them up so that they're just hanging in the breeze up here and not shorting out or touching anything. Not that it makes a big difference, but you never know. Never know what might be a live wire and might cause trouble. So you can either tuck those up or you can wrap some electrical tape around them. Whatever you want to do just so they're not making contact anywhere. What we're going to do now is start the car. We want to put our positive um, lead right here on the D plus put our negative on the DF and then we're going to take a jumper and briefly ground out to the case of the generator ground out our DF what we want to see is we want to see full generator output at idle which should be about 25 or 30 volts and as we increase the throttle just slightly which we can do over here we want to see that voltage go up so we're going to do that next Okay, so again, we've got our leads disconnected. We have our positive connected to the D plus. We have our negative connected just to the, uh, the generator bracket here. And what we want to do is connect briefly DF to the frame of the generator. And we want to watch for about 30 volts. So I'll try and show all this at the same time be a little bit difficult. So there we have 19 volts. I'm going to set you up and increase the RPM slightly and we'll see if that voltage makes it up to our full 30 or not. <laughs> 